We've been inundated with so many Oscar-worthy films in the past few weeks, it was just a matter of time before something not so worthy turned up. This week we get yet another sequel to The Grudge, that remake of a Japanese horror film from the early part of the millennium. In this outing, a detective tries to figure out why a young mother murdered her family in her house. The detective and her partners discover there's a vengeful ghost in the building who is determined to do the same to anyone who moves in. Directed by Nicholas Pesch, this grudge keeps plenty of the sight thrills from previous ones, but also layers on an emotional aspect that lets Andrea Riceboro make it more than the sum of its scares. She co-stars with Demian Bashir, John Cho, and Betty Gilpin, and gets a grudge that's not dependent on prior knowledge. Now, if you're not ready for that kind of change, check out Honey Boy, a remarkable film from actor Shia LaBeouf. Basing the story on his own life as a child actor, LaBeouf shows just how difficult it was for a boy to get by with an abusive father and a career that wasn't always forgiving. LaBeouf plays the film's father, a former rodeo clown living through his son. He's more than abusive to the son played by Noah Jupe, who just wants a glimmer of the normalcy others have. Now Lucas Hedges plays a character as an adult, and together they explain plenty about LaBeouf's erratic behavior in his early adulthood. Directed by Alma Harrell, Honey Boy is heartbreakingly good, particularly since Jupe knows just how to earn tears from a difficult life. LaBeouf is mesmerizing too, borrowing plenty from his past to make this resonate. While both stars had other films this year, Jupe in Ford vs. Ferrari and LaBeouf in Peanut Butter Falcon, this is the one that lets them show how difficult the game of pretending can really be. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.